February is American Heart Month, and we are focusing on one type of heart treatment this morning, electrophysiology. We're joined by Dr. Sarah Taylor from Rochester Regional Health. Thank you so much for being here. Good You're morning. an electrophysiologist. Yes, yes, I am. What is that, that type of treatment? So I am a cardiologist, but there's a subspecialty within cardiology okay. called cardiac electrophysiology. Okay. So an electrophysiologist is a more highly trained specialist dealing with the properties of the heart rhythm or heart beating of the heart. Mm. So extra training to deal with understanding that and managing it and then providing treatment for it. Okay. I, I think people hear this and they're kind of like, what is this? Dive into exactly what we're talking about when we talk about the rhythm of the heart, the beating of the heart and the specificity that actually goes into this. So the heart does a great job of propagating itself and maintaining a normal heart rate but mm. sometimes things go wrong so there can be problems where the heart is beating too slow and needs help in maintaining an adequate heart rate or there can be times that the heart rate is beating too fast and that could be a nuisance all the way up to something very life-threatening mm -hmm. which could lead to imminent death if not treated appropriately or sometimes it's just the symptoms of palpitations it feels like something's irregular and the actual electrical properties of the heart are doing something that aren't quite normal. I wanted to treatment. ask you about that because um, as I've seen my cardiologist for something, they talk about the electrical system. So it often sounds like the heart is like something under the hood of a car, um, but it is a very important function. What do we mean when we talk about electrical wirings of the system and how, how does that make everything work? So we think of the heart as a pump normally, and it is a big muscle. Um, but it also has a, a brain and a lot of neural networks within it. So the heart rhythm is based on the electrical neural network. The wire is sort of going through the heart. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and that maintains the timing and the beating of the pump. What causes some of these irregularities uh, in terms of the heart being too slow, too fast, and the palpitations that you mentioned? So there's a number of different causes. Sometimes it's something genetic or you're actually born with an electrical property that didn't form quite right, or maybe you've got an extra electrical connection that shouldn't be there that's causing the problem. Other times they're acquired over life alongside a parallel to other types of heart disease that cause problems. Hmm. And there's a lot of different treatments depending on what the issue is, right? A number of different treatments. Depending if the heart's too slow and needs something to speed it up or if the heart's too fast and we need to fix that problem. Yeah, we had a gentleman come in last Friday when we were talking about the Go Red for Women campaign. He mentioned he was wearing one of those um, uh, watches, like an iWatch, an Apple Watch, or mm. smart watch. Do those seem to help in terms of tracking uh, our heart rates, those wearable devices? Are they good for us to, to use? They are good. They don't replace more sophisticated measures, mm -hmm. but they're very good at drawing attention to it, drawing awareness, making you think about your heartbeat. Uh, the most sophisticated is the Apple Watch that actually has an EKG, and that can detect atrial fibrillation, mm. which is an abnormal beating of the heart where the heart becomes irregular or more erratic. And a lot of times people don't realize they're having that problem, and the first presentation might be a stroke. Mm. That rhythm problem causes a high risk of stroke. So if you can identify that you're having that problem, even if you weren't aware of it, you might be preventing a stroke. Yeah, we've actually heard stories of Apple Watches saving people because they get that early indicator before perhaps an actual symptom mm -hmm. occurs. So it's pretty incredible. If people want more information about specifically what you do and where can they go? So I would recommend the Heart Rhythm Society website they have a nice patient page on there as well, as well as the Rochester Regional website. And Perfect. Look up electrophysiology. Thank you All so right. much. Dr. Taylor, thank you so much.